to be so fucking weird. Yeah, that'd be having so to, cringe. Having to fucking crack your way out. Ugh. These look kind of cute. I guess you have the a couple of cute really animals. Cute. Mm-hmm. So a platypus, but again, don't touch them because they have those danger spikes. <sighs> Alright, well, thanks for the lesson on Australia. Yeah, thanks, Jackson. You're welcome. I'll be back next week. Do you guys want to segue? Because I don't want to end the episode before we get to talk about um, the diversity... What was it? Space thing? Oh, uh, the released. diversity calculator made by a fucking blizzard. Yeah, what? he wants to What's explain that? this oh, one. Oh my lord. You've not I, seen this, Charlie? No, I haven't even heard of that. Oh, you should explain okay. it, Kyle. You probably know it better than I do. Okay, so Activision Blizzard came out with an article that they wrote on their website, which they have since edited to, re to remove all images and amend it with an <laughs> apology because the entire internet dunked on them for it. What it is is a tool that charts how diverse their characters are, and they are rated. And I'm going to put the archived article here in our chat for our patrons. Um, all it is, they took characters from, say, Overwatch 2, and they rank these characters by diversity. So you will have a character called Anna, who looks like an elderly woman with one eye, and then she gets ranked by her socioeconomic background, culture, race, age, cognitive ability, physical ability, body type, facial features, slash beauty, gender identity, sexual orientation. And it's great because apparently, um, so if we take Anna as an example, she has zero points in body type because she has a very attractive body. It's l l listed as slim and curvy. She also has zero <laughs> points in socioeconomic background because presumably she is well off. But she has, let me count this, five points in gender identity because she's a woman. And she has four points in physical ability because she has lost one eye. So according to Activision <laughs> Wait, Blizzard, being a woman is worse than have losing one eye. They had, uh, <laughs> they had Torbjorn and Lucio on there, and according to their own data, Torbjorn is older than Lucio is black. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you rank these things? This is so weird. So, it is. Oh, by the way, this is an actual like tool, a software that they developed that you can, I guess, log into and calculate the diversity score for all of your characters that you're... Uh, putting in your video game so for Anna this character they have listed culture Egyptian that's seven points race Arab that's another seven points so being Arab is marginally worse than being a woman she is slightly <laughs> aged that's one point <laughs> uh, so do, they, do they add these yeah. points up and then it yes so the more well the idea is the farther away you are from like a white uh, healthy white male the worse it is for you, and therefore more points, more diversity points. And yeah, I get how that works. So, guess... just... so what's the, high... yeah, what's what's the highest individual point? grade you can get? Is that a 10? I would assume so. Uh, I assume so, yeah. Okay. If you look, did it seems you like see there's the 10 dots on the uh, chart. How the fuck do you yeah. reach a 10? Do you have to be like wheelchair God, no. bound and like, what? Is there any 10s? No. Yeah, uh, like... If going back to Anna, she's got one eye and she's a sniper. That has to be like a 10 on the physical ability because that's fucking hard. You got no depth perception and you're meant to shoot a sniper. Well, the other thing I like is their title image, which again, they have removed. It is, I don't know these characters, but it's like a, what looks like a fat tumblerina with pink hair. A Jamaican dude oh, who yeah. looks like he's out of Jet Set Radio and a dwarf that looks like out of World of Warcraft. And the dwarf gets a lot of points for body type because I guess being a manlet is a disability now. <laughs> he's only beaten by the fat woman because I guess being fat <laughs> is worse than being short. So the debate is settled now. Yeah, well, wait, why is <laughs> Zarya's body type more diverse than Torbjorn? I mean, he's a little, a literal dwarf, right? Yeah, he's a literal dwarf. What the fuck? Uh, he's also older than she is fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so goddamn oh. funny. <laughs> and they released this, um, anyway, Activision, they wrote this long-ass article about how proud they are of this tool, and this is really going to help diversity, equity, and inclusion. 
uh, because, you know, we no longer have to actually sit down and think about what diversity is and making characters that aren't bland. We can just it's a science crunch right? the numbers. Yeah, we, yeah. Could, we have it down to a science, you guys. It's, if any yeah. like HR asks, we can just tell them, well, it was just the algorithm. It was the science. It's so <laughs> fucking dystopic instead of focusing on like they're just blatantly admitting now that they're not focusing on writing good or interesting characters. They just want to run numbers and crank out what's most marketable. It's fucking insane how they thought this was a good idea. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could there could have been a writer that really like like Arna was their focus and stuff, and then the HR department's taken this after the fact and churned out the graph. Like maybe the graph wasn't instrumental in making the character in the first place, is what I mean. Maybe it's after the matter fact, which I guess. Well, would in their apology. It's not different. even an apology, but after the entire internet dunked on them, they amended the article and said, oh, wow, this is just some beta. We've not actually used this yet. Please stop <laughs> making fun of us. <laughs> and I don't know who King is. What is Activision Blizzard King? They're the guys King's that make like, the Candy largest Crush. mobile games. Yeah. Yeah. Candy Crush. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, what? Why does Candy Crush have to be diverse? Why is King coming up with this tool? Oh, Apparently know. it was King that developed it. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're probably doing nothing else yeah. mobile game dev is probably pretty uh, lazy I don't know I just love this whole tool I love that being a woman is five points <laughs> it's also it's also so fucking two faced of them as well like in their apology or whatever their edit they say the objective of using the tool is to uncover unconscious bias by identifying norms and representation blah 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 who made the numbers who wrote the scores for what is equal to what that's already biased it's insane yeah. it's just biased in a different perspective it's, all, it's literally all just based on what the fucking devs feel like assigning point values to which is bias that's it's pointless. It's so stupid. And who decided being an Arab is equal to being 60? <laughs> oh, I love no. this whole thing. I would have I would love to see just the internal chats and during the development of this like guys being a woman. I mean, that's a disadvantage. Yeah, and being like, Arab I, on I top, would love that's what like I want to see. What I really really want to see that goes along that is like the bartering. Like, okay, so she's a woman, but Oh, fuck, she's really fit. Maybe we'll make it so she didn't go to college. Does that get her enough points? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll trade you. That... We'll trade you. She had loving parents, but we really need to get her that backstory where she's afraid of spiders. I think, yeah, you're right. That is actually how this is supposed to work, right? I, I assume that uh, whatever the fucking PR team or the diversity equity team tells them, okay, we need one more character to the roster. The diversity score has to be at least 50 so this person is too fit or smart so can we make them old or black <laughs> then they just yeah, the we score, already have too many 60 isn't, year olds isn't in that the game. terrible terrible writing where when you have a character and you want to tweak them you don't look at maybe relevant backstory or environment or you know anything about them as a character you just go ah uh, you know th let's make them fat just just cuz yeah they're fat now they need more points it's fucking trash. It's really fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that. Just how disconnected they were that they thought this was a smart thing to do. Or to brag about, even. Blizzard is very... Well, people probably are praising it online, but people... um, uh, Bl Blizzard's in a weird place anyway. Blizzard's fucked. Yeah, Blizzard uh, is just a fucked up company. What, what I don't understand is that Ana has a... Has a beauty level of one and the the note next to that is just slightly aged so are they saying yeah, aged people can't be beautiful <laughs> also i we want to shit on overwatch specifically each and every woman in overwatch has god knows how much porn of them they all need a beauty the score of zero too. it does not matter what you've done to them in terms of like physique or age or any of that they are sexualized from the get-go by everybody yeah, like well, isn't mean, Overwatch one of those Maybe. games that are that is tongue in cheek marketed by porn? Basically, I mean they kind of heavily lean yeah. into it. I really don't think that the marketing department would let anybody on this team get away with making an actual ugly character that no one wants. Exactly. To fuck. You ever notice how what none of their characters are what are you truly talking about? 
What do you, what? No, yes, Roadhog. You do Torbjorn. not. That, no, not even remotely. First of all, he has a big bar of fetish market. People love his fat tummy. Number two, you do not see his face. <laughs> he wears a gas mask. Absolutely incorrect and blown out by facts, Jackson. Get out of here. What are, you tr are, you, are you genuinely trying to say <laughs> there that? There is not a, is a single unattractive Overwatch character. They all have their niche pornography to one degree or Jackson, another. No one in there is actually well, a, really you unattractive. You say that about literally anything. You Jackson, say that the about tiny the hamster has a fuckload of porn in Overwatch. They're all designed to be appealing in some way. Jackson, I'm looking no, at this no. Roadhog character. What are you and talking he about? That's just porn. fans being weird. That's yeah, but it wasn't fucking. There wasn't a guy in the Blizzard lab saying, "Right, we need to make a hamster so that the hamster guys can jack off." Nah. There, what, yeah. not, I, I would are you say, sure about I would that? bet decent money there was at least a creative dude, uh, creative director or two who was like, "All right, let's make a furry so the furries have someone to jack off to." But they, so the, their the idea was to literally make a, a hamster. Furry. Also yeah. possible. Yeah. I'm you guys, are, you guys are fucking... You guys are out of your minds. No, Jackson. <laughs> you don't know how aware they you are guys, of marketing to certain audiences. You guys would score a zero on the cognitive ability you, on this chart. Do you full in earnest believe there are people... They're like, no one is attractive to Roadhog, Roadhog when he is very typically just like a chubby man. All right, well, what about... What about... Um, yeah, name one Bastion. unattractive Overwatch character. Bastion's a robot. People love to fuck robots. Fucking Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot has so much porn. You have no idea. Well, you to be no fair, idea. she looks she unbelievably looks different. Human. No idea. Yeah. Bastion is just a robot. People want to like, fuck Wally. -E. And Eve. No, people want to fuck robots. For people want to fuck robots. Atsune Miku. Oh, is anime, is a but... fetish. Type it into Twitter. You will find people yeah, in leather fetish They still have to look humanoid. Even they have then, to be... Bastion was given this innocent, like, personality of being, like, a, an animal lover and this, like, kind soul. There's people who find him attractive. Straight up. People write fan fiction what? about this shit. Uh... <laughs> no, I don't think Bastion at all... Has anyone that wants to fuck him? Uh, you are wrong. Like I'll give you, I'll <laughs> give you a great, I'll I'm give you a hook. great counterexample. Psychonauts. The design in Psychonauts is excellent. The art direction is amazing. But I would not say any of those characters are attractive looking. They're all weird, gross humanoids. Well, they're also all kids, right? <laughs> no, there's plenty of adults in the game. There's Agent yeah, Foresight, there's Sasha yeah, Nine, there's... there's Mia, Vodella. All of them are like conventionally attractive people, but in that art style, they look terrifying. And that's the point. But in I Overwatch, I everyone think is people, attractive. No. no, I still think people want to fuck him. To I think people would want to fuck lesser them degree, more than, though. But more people would want to fuck, what was the Agent uh, Mia? Agent Mia, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Agent Mia, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. More people would want to fuck her than would want to fuck Bastion. Mm. Yeah, there's way more ancient Mias than Bastions in Overwatch. Exactly. That's my point. That's not my point. You literally said that every single character has their own devoted fucking audience of people that want to fuck him. I disagree with that entirely on the premise of Bastion and any other robot character in there. And hell, even... I'm still sticking with Roadhog. I'm looking up Roadhog. I'm looking up... Stack. Jackson Roadhog um, absolutely has porn. I don't even yes. need to look up the porn to know that he does. Look up Jackson, inflation why, and ovipositor porn. Why are you dismissing gay men who like chubby men? That is such a giant market. It, there's a term for it called bears for an entire reason. People like Roadhog and want to fuck him. You don't like Roadhog <laughs> and want to fuck him, but people like Roadhog and want to fuck him. Uh, yeah, uh, fine. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hell, That's fucking nice. Junkrat. His, like, they, they're, they like, in-universe business partners or something. The amount of porn of the two of them together, people like to see it. It's insane. I just think there's going to be porn of everything, though. That doesn't mean that there's an actual audience for it. For Overwatch, there is, though, because that's part of it, dude. The amount of porn that Overwatch has, it's astronomical. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I know, I know that. I know it's astronomical. <clears throat> Don't think it's about anyway, every single character. Uh, great system. Applause for, to Activision <laughs> Blizzard. I want to see more of this. Just keep going. This is hysterical. I want to. I want to hear more about how being gay and a woman is a disability. 
<laughs> this company is i don't know how they're not sunk yet they would they just make so much money but every single pr decision they make is just a nightmare I think it's because there's so. I think most software companies are like this in uh, the current.